Hey guys, Lynn here. Welcome back to another Skyrim Special Edition video for PS4. Of course, you can get all these mods on Xbox One as well. Today, we actually have five PS4 mods to showcase for once, and so let's not waste any time and jump straight into our first mod. Our first mod of the day is a mod that adds in a new race to Skyrim from the Fable series. The Archons were the ancient rulers of the Old Kingdom. The first Archon was William Black, who rose to power after freeing Albion from tyrannical rule. William Black was also the first recorded will user, which gave rise to the bloodline full of powerful heroes. Well, what kind of stats do you get with this race? Well, you specialize in heavy armor, and you also do very well in light armor, two-handed, one-handed, smithing, and sneak. Your starting health and magicka and stamina are all 150. You get once a day powers, one called Berserk. This spell sends the caster into a hulking frenzy, increasing speed and strength. Physical shield, this spell surrounds the caster with a protective sphere of energy that will absorb most damage. Unleash Eggtar, Agtar is a chicken god worshipped by a small group of followers. They are required to wear chicken hats and praise Agtar during a three day ritual, and this spell lasts 24 minutes. You get lesser powers. In flame, this spell blasts the area surrounding the caster with a wave of fire. Fireball, this creates a fireball on the palm of the caster's hand, which flies towards the enemy target. Force push, the spell creates a powerful blast of energy which radiates out from the caster. And finally, Ghost Sword, you can summon an ethereal blade from the nether world to do battle on your behalf. You also have one ability, Archon Blood. You're the most powerful hero in Albion. Because of your ancient bloodline leading back to the ancient rulers of the Old Kingdom, the Archon, you are the master of three hero traits, Strength, Skill and Will. This gives you a plus 50 to Health, Stamina and Magicka. Overall, a cool mod that adds in a new race for you to play in the game, and a cool one to start us off with, so if you're a fan of the Fable series, or you're just looking for a new race to play, then you can download this mod right now. Our next mod is a simple mod, but a fun one. Have you ever noticed that some enemy NPCs you kill can't have their armor looted from them? Well, this mod aims to stop that happening by making some of the more common armors you come across lootable and equipable. The mod now makes the Briarheart, Daedra and Dremora, Astrid Outfit, Somerset Shadow Armor, Thief Armor and Draugr Armor now lootable from enemies that you kill. The mod also gets updated and only a few hours after downloading, the Greybeard Armor was also added, so this is a work in progress. Once you have the armors, you can neither sell them or equip them just like regular armor. A fun mod that makes things a bit more immersive. Our next mod adds in a useful conjuration into the game, the Conjured Dragon Priest and Conjured Dragon mods, so they're actually two separate mods. So these give you spell tombs that allow you to summon two powerful new summons into the game. The Dragon Priest summon allows you to summon the priest for 60 seconds, but the dragon can be summoned for an entire day, which is really cool. Both of them are not too overpowered either, so it keeps things well balanced, so anyone can use these summons whether you're playing with cheats or a realism playthrough, you can have fun with these mods. Next up we have another really really cool mod actually, and that is Craftable Everything. The Craftable Everything mod adds a wide variety of playable, craftable, temperable and enchantable items, as well as playable spells and learnable enchantments. Remember the Dragonborn and Dongard DLC versions are also available to add all of the stuff from those DLCs as well, which I have installed in the video. If you saw yesterday's video, you might remember the complete smithing mod for Xbox One that added in all the armors in the game to the Forge that never used to be craftable. Well, this mod adds in all of those and a lot more stuff, so you don't have to feel bad about Xbox One getting some cool mods because this one is even better. Some of which I will tell you guys, but there are too many to list all of them, so we'll just go over a few. For weapons and armors, it adds things such as Dongard, Vampire, Cultist, Blades, Nightingale, Falmer, Thalmer, Priest and Ancient Nordic clothing, armors and weapons. So there's loads of stuff right there. Along with loads of unique armors and weapons like the Sigic robes, Mirax and Nocturnal's armors and weapons, Greybeard's robes, Harkon's sword, Champion cudgel and loads loads more. For spells it adds to the game, Conjure Bristleback, Conjure Horse, you get five different kinds of horse as well, Conjure Ice Wolf, Snow Bear, Frost Dragon, Dragon Priest, and you also get Cure Disease, Cure Poison, Transmogrify, Spectral Arrow, Soul Cairn Summon, and Meteor Storm. You also get a bunch of enchantments. Ice Form, Slow Time, Water Breathing, Invisibility, Night Eye, Detect Life, Spell Absorption, and Water Walking. Overall, a really awesome mod that adds in loads and loads of stuff that you can make pretty much from the start of the game as well, which is really handy. So you now have way more variety now to look and play how you want in the game. Keep in mind most of the stuff you make is unenchanted versions of them however, but keep in mind you can still get the enchanted versions in the game, so it's not really that big deal. The good thing about unenchanted things is you can have the unique armor and weapons, but you can put your own enchantments on them. So this mod I definitely think everyone should definitely download. Well guys, our final mod of the day is a player home. 
something again we don't see a lot of on PS4. The Rift Falls Manor is an awesome player home located, well, in the Rift. However, you can see from the video, it's got a spectacular backdrop to the house, making it look very awesome. On the outside, you have a water mill that acts as a place to hold your smithing area, along with plenty of seating. After all, with those spectacular views, you're probably going to spend a lot of time here. The house on the inside isn't really big and extravagant, it's a regular and cosy player home, but I have to say it's laid out and decorated very nicely. The house comes with a kitchen, dining and living area. The upstairs has two beds, along with storage, shelves and weapon racks. The house is also connected to a tower that has another cooking area and a third bedroom which is kind of like the master bedroom. On the outside is a crafting and enchanting area and another smithing and training area. So this house has everything you need including a cave as well. Overall a really really nice player home that has all the essentials you need in a player home but the views and the location of the house are some of the best around and this mod is worth downloading and checking out for yourself. Well guys there you have it 5 brand new PS4 mods from the last 24 hours or so that are worth downloading and trying out. As always, like, comment and subscribe and I will see all you guys tomorrow for another Skyrim console mod video. See you all then.